Perfect. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Mission Driven Life podcast. This is episode 242. And we're coming here today. It's been a while since I've, uh, I've been live. It's been a while since I um, kind of had this episode, but I've been called to really grow and to really impact people more through this podcast. And I really thought of this as we come back, looking back on our 242 episodes and the power and the impact we've had so far. For many of the people that don't know who I am, my name is Kevin. I am the CEO of Leads On Demand. We're an outbound sales agency. People hire my team to make cold calls for them, send messages for them, find them clients and recruits using social media, uh, outbound messaging. And uh, I really come here today because my number one intention with this podcast is to share the missions of leaders and to share the legacy of leaders. And I, you know, most of our team, we hang out online, we hang out on LinkedIn, and I've, uh, I've been following someone really cool. And someone that I, I've seen around on LinkedIn, hang around on, online a lot. And what she, what she does is she's a grandmother. She's a grandmother of four amazing grandchildren. And she has a great legacy that she wants to share. She has a, a great past, like she used to work in the oil field in Alberta and in different parts. And now she was a manager at many companies, a supply company, and she realized, but the long hours and the stress were taking a toll on her body. After going through many surgeries, especially with her heart and going through a lot of pain, she wants to, wanted to gain full control of her life. And she joined a team called World Financial Group which is an amazing team of financial advisors. I'm an agent myself, even though I don't really do much with it, but I'm an agent on the team. And uh, my number one goal is to fix my money situation. And uh, Glenda is here because she wants to help many families have the same legacy of not being left behind. So um, please help me welcome Glenda. Thank you for being here, Linda. Thank you, Kevin. Um, thank you for that fantastic introduction. Um, yeah, I, I am excited. I am um, more pumped and excited than I think I've ever been. Um, most people through COVID is, um, you know, the, their businesses are going down, things are not doing well. Whereas us here in WFG is we've been here to help families. And with everything going online, it has just opened up so many avenues for us here in WFG. Mm. Um, now we can, we can help families all right straight across Canada and in the United States. So our clientele wow. is, is more in touch with us than, than ever before. So I am just so excited to be building a business in this, in this industry at this time. Yeah, hundred so. percent. A lot of play, a lot of people are going all online now, and um, most definitely, most definitely. Before COVID, um, we couldn't do our business online. Um, the governments just would not allow us to. And now that with COVID, it's it's opened up a whole new avenue for us. And you know, it, it's it's just um, opened up our 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 eyes to what online marketing and what online um, business can do. Yeah, hundred percent. So by the way, everyone, if you're tuning in for the first time, please drop a comment and put a like down below, share this feed for, to someone that you, you think would find tons of value with this. Um, you can also listen to this podcast here on, I think eight different platforms from anchor, Spotify, breaker, Google podcast, Apple podcast, radio, public overcast, and you'll find some of our replays on YouTube. That's where we can gain. That's where you can tune in and get, get more value on here uh, to learn from Glenda. So Glenda, first question is, you know, one of the things that we talk about here is mission and vision and a huge why. So tell us your why. Um, my why is my four grandchildren. Yeah. I, in this 
day and age, we we just don't know what what life is going to bring for them. I mean, I am born and raised a uh, oil and gas um, worker. My whole family is, and we just we just don't know where is the oil and gas going. So my biggest why is for them four little babies. I want to make sure that that I leave a legacy for them, something that they can carry on. Wow. I know you, it's, you, you've been talking about like, I, you know, working on the rigs and working on the oil rigs. I know it was long hours and stressful for you. Um, and I know I have some friends in our audience that, that have worked in the rigs as well. I have a coach, a friend who is a coach in the rigs who helps uh, hold rig hands that are like working hard, long hours there, uh, kind of reconnect with their family. So what was that like for you? Up there. Was well, it? It, 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 it was very difficult. Um, my husband yeah. and I both were in the oil and gas industry and we had two teenage daughters at the same time. So, so we sacrificed our time together, um, my yeah. husband and I, because we worked opposite 10 and four ships. So we didn't see each other on a weekend for, for over two and a half years. But the point was, is we had to have somebody home with our girls um, on the weekends. So, so it took a toll on us. Uh, it, it, it made us appreciate family life and um, it made us realize that money isn't everything. Not seeing you, yeah, not seeing your family for like, for, or your husband for two years. Yeah. That was tough. Like, did you, did, did you all just not did you call each other or how did you just stay in contact? Well, <laughs> I'm not, we, we seen each other every night. We were home every night together, yeah. but we never had a weekend um, as a family for two and a half years um, because we didn't want to leave our girls um, alone on a weekend. Um, teenage girls on their own is, is not a good mix. <laughs> so, so yeah. we, we sacrificed our, our time together and now, I mean, we've got all the time in the world together because we're retired and we're, we're at home together. So wow. um, doing that sacrifice was okay, but it took a toll on us as a family. Okay. My family was all busy as well. You know, my mom and dad were always busy. Uh, my dad was busy at church and also my mom was at work. So I know what it's like to just have, not be around your family a lot. And it, it can be like really mm -hmm. impacting it can, it can really yeah. like hurt the family a bit. Uh, but it's really cool that you had that, you know, if I, if my parents had WFG, you know, back when they raised me, Hey, we would have spent more time together. So definitely, definitely. That's the power. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think is, um, what do you think was the biggest switch for you? That's made you switch. Um, you know, I, I love W or pardon me. I loved working in the oil and gas industry, but in oh. 2006 or pardon me, 2010, I got, I got very sick and I went to my oh. employer and I gave him my letter from the doctor and it said that I needed six months medical leave. And right. he decided that he wasn't going to wait for that. So he gave me my walking papers. So he laid me off. So I spent three years in and out of hospital. It, it was not a fun time. So when I got back into the workforce, I needed something that I had control over my time and that nobody could tell me when I had to work and when I didn't have to work. So that's what inspired me to go to work for WFG um, and to help families. Mm. I mean, that's huge. I mean, when you, can, when you can save a family's home or save a family's marriage and you know, you're like a hero to that family. And it just fills your heart with so much pride. So I can't imagine doing anything but WFG now. Uh, yeah. First of all, I, I just, the, the guys, ouch, you know, ouch about losing that job. That's not fun. Um, no. But I guess God puts some things in our hands sometimes. He's leading us. Yes. Yes. 
he's 100% leading us some. He, you know, I've lost so many jobs, but I guess it led me down a path of like, you know, seeing what I what what I'm what I'm really supposed to do. Uh, I guess it's a blessing. <laughs> well, you know, it's like the saying goes: God only gives you what you can handle. So, um, when I was let go from my job, it it was telling me that God had a different path for me, yeah. and. Um, helping people is a path that I, I think I should be on. And he's shown that to me in the last eight years. Um, you know, he spared me my life and, and gave me a, an opportunity to build something for myself. So. Uh, let me ask you, cause I know, like, I want to help you find some people to work with you as they watch this feed, give you some more attention. You know, there's so many different opportunities out here, you know, uh, Primerica, Exterior, ACN, Amway. There's so many different opportunities that you could do, you could work on. Um, what made you choose that? Let's look out for you. Um, the, the biggest thing with WFG is, is you are in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. And you're never in business by yourself. We have some fantastic um, product providers that, that we deal with that are there for us 100% of the time. Mm. And our leadership, we have leadership that's making, you know, eight, nine million dollars a year, but they're still in the field with us. So just the, the camaraderie and the help that you get. And I don't have to fill my garage with, with a whole bunch of product. I don't have to buy product. I mean, I have a lot of WFG's products, but I don't have to fill my garage with product. Mm. So, and, and helping families, helping my yeah. own family was huge. I mean, my husband and I were, were badly in debt after my illnesses. Yeah. So too. WFG just showed us how to, how to manage our debt and get out of debt. And now we are sitting debt free. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to like learn more about it. I know that I'm 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 about to hook up with some life insurance, uh, you know, for my for my family with my guy who, in my hierarchy, and I can see the value mm -hmm. of protecting your wealth, like protecting it. If I die, what's going to happen? Uh, and the fact that I can even I can loan money against my life insurance, <laughs> you know, borrow money against yeah. it. But something that people got to remember about life insurance is we go out, we, we insure our homes, we insure our vehicles, we even insure our cell phones. But people forget about insuring the most valuable asset that they have. And that is your ability to go out and make money. Right. So if you're, you know, it's not just life insurance is not just there for, for death. It's also there for critical illnesses or disabilities. And it's not, it's not expensive. Most people think it's so expensive. It's not, no. we can work. We have so many different products that we can work within your budget. So don't be silly. Don't put your family on the back burner. Yes. Maybe your house is paid off, but your family can't take a cupboard door and take it into a supermarket and buy food to put in their mouth. So it's important to protect your loved ones in their time of need. Yeah. Very important. Uh, I know like, you know, building a legacy probably takes a team. Now that I know yes. that, so you're helping people with life insurance and you're helping people with all the products that you have. Um, but I know that building a team is also very key in what you could do. And I know every leader has a team, you know, every yes. leader has a team for me with my sales team, people can hire our team. Yeah. It's, it's a very key to have a strong, accountable team an accountable leader does what he says he's going to do. Um, that tells the truth and is honest, keeps his word. I'm not perfect with my word, but I know it is, but I know leadership is huge with, with the, uh, you know, the, in financial services, especially at WFG. Um, how are you building your team at the moment? Well, you know, 
the best way to build the team and, and yeah. how I have gone or done it throughout the whole eight years is there's always people that know other people. So we want to stay in a warm market or a lukewarm market. So the best way to do it is, is we've got to work with, with our teammates to help them build a team, get to the people that they know and, and show them what it is WFG does. So we are very hands-on yeah. and for me to build a legacy for my, for my family, no, it, I can't do it myself. It is going to be a team effort. And in order to do that, I need to go out there and show my team how dedicated and how loyal I am to them. And by doing that, by giving them the training and giving them the, the leadership that they deserve, right. it's going to build leaders. And so I want to duplicate myself. I want to duplicate myself. I want to build leaders that are, that are out there and, and working with their teams just as much as I am. So leadership, leadership is very important. Um, you're not the boss. You're not the head person. You're just somebody that people can go to for information. What would be like, you know, who is someone you'd want to look for for your team that you want to work with? Um, I'm looking for people that are willing to learn and they're coachable. They want to learn. They want to be coachable and they want to be, they are energetic. So I want somebody that wants this as much as I do. Who is out there that wants to build a legacy for their family? So, you know, that, that could be anybody from a, from a 20 year old right up to a 80 year old. Um, but it's, it's just somebody that's got that desire to build their own business. Do you have like a certain like age range or, uh, you know, like kind of like job role they have? Like what's, do you have a spurting like demographic? Well, you know, the, the, I guess the age range that it, that is um, common in this business is age between age 35 and 45. Oh. And a good portion of the people that are coming into this business now are, oh. um, mothers stay at home moms because they need something to do other than just look after the children so we find a lot of stay at home moms that are, <clears throat> that are coming into this business and they're building um faster than anybody can <clears throat> excuse me so um yeah. stay at home moms between the age of 35 and 40 um this is a great opportunity for them stay at home moms right eh? Interesting. So that's who's you, who, that's who you've been targeting lately, trying to get, get for your um, team. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's basically who I've been, who I've been um, working with lately. Yes. Wow. Okay. And like, cause I, I'm just thinking how you could benefit from this video because, and how people can benefit from watching you is, you know, like, let's say there's a, there's a, there's a mom right now, a young mother, or maybe a mother were listening, or maybe a father who's very busy, uh, you know, and he wants to have more freedom. You know, what kind of benefits would you want to give them? What kind of benefits would that be? For well, yeah. well, here, here in WFG, um, we are paid as professionals. Yeah. So the, the pay that we get out of this business is, is very rewarding. And the time that you have to put into this business is very minimal in order to, to take home a paycheck. And the thing is, is you don't have to do it all on your own. So if we've got a stay at home mom, at, say that, you know, has five kids at home and is very, very busy, but has some time in the evening, you know, the kids are all gone down to bed and they just want to, to build a, a second income or feel like they're contributing to the household or even a stay at home dad. It doesn't have to be a mom, stay at home dad. Just anybody that wants to subsidize their income. Um, I can, I am positive that I can help a family um, subsidize their income on a monthly basis. 
So if you're if you're one of those people that just really needs to subsidize or make an extra maybe an extra fifteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars a month that would turn your life around, then this is something that that you should look into, because WFG we work on your schedule. We don't give you a schedule yeah. that you have to work. We work on your schedule. Very okay. smart. But what's really true, like, look, I, I get that, hey, that we work from home, we can work whenever. But I do know, like, just from my own experience building a business is like, I need to put time. I need to commit time. If I put in one hour a week, I won't expect to gain abundant fruit. I know some people try to come oh. and be like, hey, I want to work. I want to work one hour. But I'm telling them, hey, don't expect <laughs> much, man. You got to commit. Well, that's the thing. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Right. Okay. You have to put in the time and the energy to do it. So that's why I say I'm looking for people that are coachable. If you listen and follow my lead, I know that you're going to be successful in this business. So yes, if you're looking to put in one hour a week, it's not going to work. Um, my mandatory is I have two hours a week of training that we do Monday nights and Thursday nights. Um, so I require my people to be on there and, and then they need to give me about five hours a week, either on the phone or on training appointments or on, um, building plans for families so there is some commitment to it but if you commit and you're coachable and you're willing to learn you can make money in this business yeah. so just looking here uh are you a mark senior you're smd um no i am not i am an associate um so i've got a couple of levels yet to go and um but I've been here. I'm eight years and I know this business. Okay. Yeah. With this is like, like from your whole eight years in business, I know we got a lot of like friends and, and our audience here um, in WFG. And before I continue, um, if you're, if you're joining us here live again on Facebook, if you're joining me live and maybe you're watching me for the first time, uh, my name is Kevin. I am the CEO of Leads on Demand. We're an outbound sales agency. We're a done for you service to help you find leads, find clients on LinkedIn and cold calling. And uh, some of the great people that we work with are in World Financial Group. And Glenda is, and is a great example of someone who is pushing very hard to grow her business. We've been partnered with this company for the longest time. And uh, I want you to come here. If you're watching this, I would like you for you to consider this, uh, especially listening to what Glenda has to say as she spent eight years in this business, uh, growing, working, pushing her why forward, and you know commitment, and all these things that it, it takes to grow your um, financial business. So if you got a question you want to ask Glenda, put it down below. If you have a question, you have a comment, you have something you want to share, uh, Michael Murray says what's wfg in the comments uh wfg is uh, do you want to explain that to him go ahead and share that with him if you want. okay so what wfj stands for is world financial group and what we are is we are independent brokers of financial services so what that means is we don't yeah. own any of our own products we partner with banks um, insurance companies and investment companies and the reason we do that is because not everybody's financial needs are the same. So we want to have the product, the best, find the best product for our clients that there is. So we're just independent brokers. Interesting. Yeah. Independent brokers. That's great. And that's cool that, uh, yeah, Michael put that comment down below. I'm looking here on, on his comment. Hopefully that answers your question, Michael. Michael goes to my church. He's in, he lives in Florida. <laughs> you're, you're, you work all the way in Florida as well. Um, yeah, our, our company is affiliated um, in North America. So yes, we, we do all that area for sure. For sure. 
Now tell us like what, in, in your eight years experience, that's a lot of time actually. Uh, and it's a, and it, that's a long time for a lot of entrepreneurs for some. What do you think are the top secrets that have helped you um, grow your business? Um, Self-development has got to be number one. Um, if you're not learning on a regular basis or developing yourself on a regular basis, you're not going to make it as an entrepreneur. Um, the second one yeah. is mindset. Um, I mean, I had a very negative mindset when I got into this business. And so I've had to work mm. really, really hard to keep a positive mindset. So if you're not positive, it's really hard. You've got to be positive. You've got to be upbeat for your clients. And um, the third one is just determination. I have a will to win and I'm going to do it no matter what it takes. Yeah. You got to do what it takes in here. Yeah. Determination. Not a lot of people, I'll be honest, people want to want to be entrepreneurs, but they don't have it. Not everyone no, exactly. who's going to join you is going to be a fit. I've learned this from so no. many people. I know a lot of people, guys that I know who have always wanted to, you know, start a business, but no. to be honest, they couldn't, they just talked about it. So yes. it's kind of hard for me. No. We get a lot of people comes into WFG and, and they think they have it and and, you know, some of them are really, really good, but some of them just, they don't have the ability to, to be coachable and to listen. Like in this company, the, the process has been set out in for us. We don't have to go and reinvent the wheel. Just listen yeah. to what the process is and you will make it. Follow that process, you'll make it in this business. Mm. So I know it's a, like a step-by-step -step plan that you have. Definitely, definitely. Step -step um, we have, we have, have it set out um, the steps that you need to take to be successful in this business. And the, we have the scripts and, and the training material set out to, to help you be successful in this business. Yeah. See, like companies like this, that's what I love. Like this message is to all the audience that's watching here. Like I love, net, I love, you know, multi-level marketing, network marketing, uh, you know, companies that give you opportunities and there are proven systems that you can just plug and play. All you got to do is do it though. That's the one thing that's not included is effort and action to do it as well. So some people, they, they have, they get all these, they get a full book, like a whole hockey manual, training manual. It's right here, but Hey, no one's doing it. But I really encourage you. Like if you're, if you're looking for an opportunity, this is a great place for you to like really get your mission, get your mission aligned, get get it, your why aligned, just like Glenda. Um, very key. What, what's uh what do you think are the steps that you're taking right now to, Push your mission um, forward. My steps right now is is I'm looking for people to join my team. Um, I'm I'm to the point now where my clientele is is looked after. I want to now mentor and train new um, agents. So my push right now is is for um, recruits and for people to that I can mentor and train in this business. Oh, recruits train. I've got to spread a certain area that you want them at in your city or province. Um, you know what? I'm just looking for all across Canada and the United States. Um, we just, there is so many families out there that need our help um, wow. that I will mentor and train. It don't matter where you're at um, in North America, because it's so important to me for families to understand the importance of, of financial services because we're not taught this stuff in school and we should be taught it in school. Yeah. So they don't teach money there. For most people, retirement is just around the corner. Yeah. So close. Yeah. So close. Uh, I was looking <laughs> at some of your, um, 
some of the guys that hit chairman I was like looking on on uh, online the, some of the, the people that have hit huge levels in your company you know world yeah uh, such as um, I'm in I'm in the real me show yes hierarchy. yeah that's the team that I'm a part of uh, and I'm and that's the with. that's your hierarchy that hierarchy as well Senior people at like Zhu Li Zhang, executive vice chairman, um, Julian Reyes, Lewis. Those, those people are, are both down in the, in the US. Um, and yeah. I mean, they've, they've just built fantastic businesses. Real Misho alone is making over $8 million a year in his hierarchy. Wow. Now look, everyone, I want you to know this because like you, if you have a mission like Glenda, if you have some sort of purpose, um, I have a purpose as well. You know, my purpose like with this business is uh, I, want, I would like to, I'm looking for freedom. I want freedom. So I'm growing this agency that I'm working now leads on demand so I can go out and like, do more things. I can go evangelize. I can go out and help people. <clears throat> and, uh, I have a lot of big visions to travel the world and you can't really do it without money. It's very hard, uh, you know, to pay for a flight and buy food and pay for rent. You, you need some sort of cash and, you know, co companies like Linda's is, is giving you a great opportunity to do something great. Uh, Cause I bet like, is, would you say this is your life legacy? Like, something you've always wanted to do. Glenda. Yeah, it is. And, and for me, the just touching on what you were saying about traveling and that yeah. is um, I'm building residual income. And for anybody that doesn't understand residual income, you need to wrap your head around it. That is income that is coming into your bank account and you haven't done one bit of work to make it. So it's, you built that team and that team is out there making you residual income. That $8 million that Real Misho makes is all residual income. So wrap your head on residual income because I don't know about you, unless you have a couple million dollars saved, you're not going to retire the way you want to. So Why do you say um, that? residual income is the only way. Why do you say million dollars is uh you know. well if you sit down if you sit down with with myself and we put a plan together and figure out what you want how much money you want to live on when you retire um the average person needs anywhere from two to three million dollars to have the lifestyle that they want when they retire so when, would you say that that's a million dollars stretched out for the rest of your life? Um, so the same yes. retire at 70 um, until they die okay, at 90, so, 80. <laughs> People stay that old. Well, <laughs> well, you know, and that's, that's the thing. Um, people are living longer because with our technology in, in medicine nowadays, people are surviving a lot more things than what they used to. So if you're thinking that the government is gonna help you down the road, I mean, I'm 10 years from retirement and I don't think that there's gonna be any government help for me mm. because just the way our government's going. So if you yeah. want to retire at the same, same level that you are today, if you're making good money, today, say you're taking home six grand or seven grand a month today, in order to retire and live for 25 years on that same income, you're going to need a good two to three million dollars, and it needs to be making a a good profit or a, a good rate of return. You know, if it's only making 1.5 or one percent at, at at the banks, that's not going to get you to where to your promised land. So these are things. This is how we help families. We build a plan, we figure out what is your, your FIN number, 
everybody knows their SIN number and their PIN number, but nobody knows their FIN number, which is your financial independence number. And that is the bag of money that you need in retirement to sustain your style of living that you want. So we figure out what is your FIN number and then we back engineer a plan um, to get you to that FIN number. And if, if our clients stay to their plan, they're gonna have the retirement that they want. But time is also on, on their side. I mean, the younger you do this, the better you, chances you have to, to making that plan. But you say take somebody at 45, 50 years old that's just starting to build their, their income or their, pardon me, their savings for retirement, they're going to have to have residual income like I do in order to live the lifestyle that they want in retirement. Does that help explain residual it to you? Residual income, <laughs> that money, that drip, that drip, monthly mm -hmm. drip. Exactly. I heard you, I heard your team's getting paid eight times a month. Yeah. Yeah. We get paid twice a week, twice a week, every Tuesday and Friday, there's a paycheck goes into our, our bank account. It's wonderful. Um, I mean, it's better than being paid once a month or every two weeks. I always know there's money in my bank account as long as I've gone out and done the work that I need to do. Well, some people could use that. There's a stat somewhere that said that, um, uh... America, like, I mean, I'm in the New York at the moment, but this says that yep. less than 10% oh, of Americans have $200 saved or yeah. saved in their bank. Here in Canada, here in Canada, the stat is telling us that the average family um, is saving anywhere from 1% to negative 1% per month. Whoa. So there's families out there that are spending and getting themselves into debt. Um, on a monthly basis. So 91% of Canadians are going to retire unwealthy. So if you stop and think about one out of every 10 of your friends, one of you is going to be okay at retirement. Mm. So we have a huge job to do. In Canada, there's there's just over, I think, 10,000 licensed agents across Canada. Wow. We're not even close to tapping out this market. We need, we need more agents. I don't know what else to say about it. It's it's a <laughs> it's a dying market. Totally. If we don't if we don't get out there and help families. It's going to be a sad, sad retirement day. You got to do it. Yeah. Bottom line, everyone join Linda's, well, join Glenda's team. There's people <laughs> out there need help. You know, yeah. if, if not joining the team, at least find a WF, WFG agent that can help your family. Get, get on a plan help your family become financially free. Um, there's just no feeling in the world like it. Yeah. I've never been so financially free as I am today, ever. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest, like I'm even, I'm getting my, my, my financial life together slowly. It's, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's, a, it's been a bunch of bad habits, <laughs> you know? It, yeah. It's, it's all habits, you know, behavior psychology, like yeah. how I manage, um, you know, sometimes when I get it, I spend it and it's a bad habit. Um, well, in the oil and gas industry, um, I always say I knew how to make money and spend money. If I had just, just a fraction of the money that I made in the oil and gas industry, I would be retired today. So don't make that mistake. Let somebody show you how to start saving for the future. Are you helping a lot of guys in that industry? The guys on the rigs? Um, 
Yes. Yes. I mean, it's, it's one of my focuses because I have a passion for it. Um, I spent 25 years in that industry. I love that industry and I know what kind of money they make and I know what kind of money they spend. So, so yeah, definitely. I focus in that area. Yeah. There's a guy I want to connect you to. I think uh, he's on the rigs. I think he might, he's a construction guy. I'm not sure if he's there now. Yep. I'll, I'll connect you with him. Uh, that would be great. People. Okay. One set. Let me also think of his name. Yep. Yep. You know where I'm at. Nick and, uh, I'd love to have anybody that's listening to this. I'd love to have them um, join me on LinkedIn. I have a huge following. Yeah. Join me on LinkedIn. So I'm going to, what I'm going to tell do, me how you know me. Say that you met, you seen me on it. All right. If you're watching this live, everyone, uh, I'm going to put Glenda's LinkedIn down below. Go connect with her there. This guy just, this guy just shared this. Uh, someone just shared this to 72 posts, 72 places. It's crazy. So, Hey, welcome to everyone right that's watching this, uh, this live feed. Um, so if you want to connect with Glenda, go to um, go click that link below. Connect with Glenda there on LinkedIn. And let's say people don't have LinkedIn. Is there anywhere they can email you or text you or a website? Um, you know, I have I have a website. Um, it's it's a long website address. Um, I'm also on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Um, or you can I'll I'll bring up my, my email and, or not my email, sorry, my um, website page, and I'll put it in the comments below right. and, or in the chat. And you can follow me on my, on my um, World Financial Group Facebook page. For sure. I actually put your link down below, uh, agents.wfgcanada. Yep. That's, uh, that's one. So great. For sure. Also, hey, um, give everyone your credit card number so they can uh, <laughs> take some money from you. <laughs> ah, funny boy, funny boy. <laughs> the biggest thing is, is I don't have I don't have credit cards, and those credit cards are the things that get us into trouble the most in this world. So, if you have lots of credit cards in your pocket, um, don't be proud of it. I did too at one time. I have one credit card, has a $2,000 limit. I use it for travel and that's it. Smart. So. Yeah. Fixing debt, getting credit repair, all of so much key steps. Um, and, and the thing is, is we do all that. Um, we have debt consolidation companies that we work with. So, um, you can really look at a WFG agent and say, we're a one-stop shop for financial services because we partner with just so many companies. Four pillars. Yes. Yep. I know those guys. Yep. I did business with them once. <laughs> Credit repair. <laughs> I know them. <laughs> you know what? Don't feel bad about it. Yep. There, there's a lot of people in that situation right now. Because, you know, the economy was good, everything was going good, and all of a sudden it crashed. And um, we get into trouble. If you don't have an emergency fund built, um, you can get into trouble very quickly. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in to, um, to the Mission Driven Life episode. We talked about uh, Glenda's mission. You know, a grandmother with a grandmother of four got a huge legacy, financial freedom, started it off in a hard situation, working in, oil, <laughs> working in an oil and gas industry, stressed out, long hours, but now she has more time, more time with her family, more time with her, her kids, uh, more time with her husband, and uh, you know, less stress. You know, we're not clocking hours 
<laughs> so if, if you all want to connect with Glenda, like learn about what she does and what she offers and maybe join her team, I put her two links down below. Um, one's her website and one's her LinkedIn page. So go ahead and connect with her and uh, you can schedule appointment on her website. I'll actually share that with you on the screen right now. So you could, this is where you could go to, um, you know, see what she does. Uh, she has her phone number. And also you can easily book. Your team. Hmm. Or maybe here. Hey, Pastor. I'm on. Good. I'm just on a live video. I'll, uh, I'll call you when I'm done. <laughs> I'll call you when I'm done. All right. My pastor scolded me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and book a meeting here, and uh, yeah, go sit down yeah. with Glenda, learn about what she does, join her team, and um, get your money right. Because I know this is what I'm doing as well for myself. And um, you know, the Bible says, "Don't love money," but also know that hey, we need it to live. And to have a really, you know, to have a good life. Um, to even yeah. go, go provide. So I can be, be being able to give and provide to people. You can't do that without, if it's an empty hand. So, yeah. Thanks for your time, Glenda. Yes. Uh, well, thank you, Kevin. I, I quite enjoyed it. And um, hopefully we can move forward um, through all this. Yeah, we will. So my yeah. friends, thank you for tuning in. This is Kevin with the Mission Driven Life, episode 242. You can find all of our replays down in that above link below. If you're watching the replay, put the hashtag replay or live if you're putting watching us live. Um, really grateful for this time. If you need help finding leads or recruits, send me a message. Our team has a proven system that is guaranteeing results within 30 to 60 days uh, or we'll give you your money back. <laughs> so that's some industries, but yeah, that's, that's what we do for some people. So hope you all have a good day and God bless.